ML Sports Take here brought to you by Jam and Beats, Rosie's Corner, and our good friends at Bowers and Company CPAs. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. 27-24, the Chiefs take out the Bills in the divisional playoffs. And let's face it, you got to credit Kansas City here, man. A lot of championship mojo. We heard all about this year. They'd taken a step back. Mahomes wasn't really right. Kelsey's a shell of himself. Again, year two without Tyree Kill. All of a sudden, they get into complimentary football. The defense is really good. They find a way to win the West. They have to go on the road. Oh, no, Patrick Mahomes' first road game. I mean, how dumb are people to think that he couldn't win a road playoff game? Like, oh, we'll see what happens when he actually goes on the road. I'll tell you what happens. He's the Michael Jordan of the NFL. He's going to win football games. He's too good to not be able to win on the road. And you know what? The championship pedigree of things, it came out, didn't it? Andy Reid, again, out coaches Sean McDermott in so many spots, it isn't even funny. From scheme to McDermott's idiotic decision to fake punt, uh, putting 10 men in the box all the time defensively, running zones when he shouldn't, over pursuing as a defensive coordinator, McDermott. And Andy Reid just kept it simple, kept guys in motion, kept the RPO, quick release Patrick Mahomes. Oh, by the way, Valdez Scantling, Rice, these guys are average players. They just keep getting better and better and better in the culture. And then bang, they have huge games, six catches for over 100 yards for Kansas City. That's just one of a thousand examples of why the Chiefs are up here and the Bills are down here. It's never going to change. I got to see it to believe it. I picked this game with my heart, but I knew deep down that the Bills were not going to win this football game against Kansas City. I just had a feeling with all the talk all week about Mahomes and the road playoff game and all that sort of stuff, you have to realize sometimes, and I'm not trying to be Doug Gottlieb here, but sometimes you think like in a toss-up game, you're like, oh, which way do I go? I'll just go with my heart because sometimes I just don't want to deal with all my buddies who are Bills fans who think that I'm always negative and they don't realize that I work in sports media. Like my job is not to be the rah-rah guy as much as you guys, as much as I'm wearing this and this right now. I have an opinion. I cover the game. I'm not always a fan, short for fanatic, psychotic fan where the team can do nothing wrong all the time. I don't have pom-poms on all the time. I'm critical. I watch the games differently, clearly. And sometimes it's like, holy shit, if I don't pick the bills, my God, my phone's never going to go off here. Reality is, I kind of had a feeling Kansas City was going to win this game. They're too good. And right now you look at the bills and you look at Allen and you look at the window and it's a little bit more closed. This is starting to feel like a 1990s Bulls situation, is it not? Michael Jordan and the Bulls, a lot of good to great teams, couldn't win. Suns, Blazers, uh, Sonics, you're talking Hall of Fame players, the Jazz, Stockton, Malone, Kemp, uh, Gary Payton, Charles Barkley, Clyde Drexler, on it the Pacers, Reggie Miller, zero rings, great teams, great players. Sometimes you just can't beat the era. This era is owned by the Kansas City Chiefs. They're the new Patriots. That's the bottom line. And this is why I picked them. Remember, remember, back in August, I picked them to win the Super Bowl. We'll see what happens. ML Sports Take brought to you by our good friends at Welch & Company Jewelers and Stanley Law Offices.